My name is Tony, and I'm with Clean Browsing. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with the latest version of the Clean Browsing app and configure it with your Clean Browsing account. So here, you'll see that I've logged into the Clean Browsing dashboard. To install the app, simply go to the App Store, type in Clean Browsing, and you'll see us pop up. Go ahead and download. And this app does require you to have at least Big Sur or greater uh, to ensure it works correctly. Hit open, and it'll open the app. We'll go ahead and close the App Store while this opens. And here, you're going to want to use the custom filter. This custom filter is going to bound the app to your account uh, service. So here in the dashboard, we're going to copy this value. You see that I've already set it to the macOS profile. We'll open up the app. We'll activate it. We'll paste the code. And when it pastes, we should see it come alive. So now that it's been activated, we could do a simple test. And you'll see if you copy this domain, come to your activities, type in badexample.com, you should see MS14 popping up. And since I typed in bad example, you'll see the test that I did earlier for TS12. So cool. So now what I want to show you is another cool feature within the app uh, that we're, we're introducing in version 2.9. You can see 2.9 down here. In the settings option, not only do you have the ability to clear your profile and set the password, but you also have the ability to provide some protection for uninstallation. The way this works is once it's enabled, if the user tries to quit the application, it'll reopen. And what you can do is you can set it behind a password. So let's go ahead and set our password. Now, if I go back to settings and I enable application uninstall protection, if the user comes into Clean Browsing DNS and tries to quit the application, it should open back up. And you can actually see that it's working, and within a few seconds, it'll open itself up. And you see, boom, there we are. To disable, simply go to settings, application uninstall protection, disable. And in this instance, it's going to ask you for a password again. And that's it. And with this, you'll be able to quit the application. This also gives you the protection that parents and schools and libraries and other organizations have been requesting that allow us to better control what the user can do, even if they're an administrator. If you have any questions, please send us an email at support at cleanbrowsing.org. Thank you.